Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we will see how to load the data from Dartpad to Factor in Power Center. In the previous video, we have seen how to load the data from Oracle to Power Center target. Now, this is a part one video. In the next upcoming videos, I will tell you all the transformations that, that are present in the Power Center. Now, the main agenda of this video is overview of designer components. I will tell you what are the components that are present in designer. Now, what are the data types and the overview of workflow manager components, overview of workflow monitor components, followed by a demo. Now, overview of designer components. If you see, there will be five components. One is source analyzer, target designer, transformation developer, mapping designer, and mapped designer. Now, coming to source analyzer, it is used to create or import source definition. So on the target designer, it is used to create or import the target definition. Now coming to transformation developer. So transformation developer, the name itself says it is used to create the transformations. Now the transformations can be connected or unconnected. Now connected transformation uh, means like it exists uh, along the line of data flow. That means if it, rece it receives the input directly. So but unconnected transformation, it is it does not exist along the line of data flow. It does not receive the input directly. I will tell you those uh, differences uh, in detail later. Again, transformations are of two types. One is patch view transformation, act to transformation. So what is a patch view transformation? So uh, in order to make a, a patch view or act to transformation, like we need to see uh, two conditions. First one is if number of rows that are passing into the transformation is equal to number of rows that are coming out of the transformation. And also the second point is the order of passing uh, should not change. So if these two satisfy, then it is a passive transformation. Otherwise, it is an active transformation. For example, if you take an expression transformation, so expression transformation just deal with the operations. Now, from the source, if you are passing three records and uh, expression transformation will take all the three records and it will perform some operation and it will output all the three records. So the first condition got satisfied. And the second condition, it won't change the order of it because if it's a sorter, it will change. But if it is, it is an expression, so it won't change. So that's why expression transformation is a passive transformation. Now coming to another example, if you have a record, so in the source records, you have male and female records. Now you want only the male records. Now you will use a filter transformation and it will filter only the male records. So from the source, if you are getting 10 records, only five males are present. So it will output only five males. That means the number of records that you're passing is not equal to the number of records that you are outputting. So that's why filter is an active transformation. So I will tell you uh, with uh, like uh, in detail in the next videos. Now next mapping designer. So mapping designer is nothing but it is used to create the mapping. So whatever the mappings that we are creating, for example, source definition, and transformation logic will write and the target definition will be there now uh, as it is a flat file so i'm not going to use any la logic in this video now maplet designer so what is the use of maplet so it is used to create a maplets because uh, it is used to reuse set of transformation that means you have 10 mappings where in the all the 10 mappings you have the same logic so instead of uh, defining transformations in each and every 10 mappings so you can simply create one maplet and you can reuse that maplet in all the 10 mappings. So that's the use of maplet designer. Okay, now coming to data types. So what are the data types that are present in the power center? So these are the data types, begin to binary, date type, decimal, double, integer, and string, and text, real, small integer, string, text. So if you see, this precision can be changed or scale can be changed. If you see it begin, you cannot change. So like this binary, you can change. I will show you this practically decimal s so you can change and for n string for strings you can change n string and text string text you can change now coming to native and power center data type so what is the difference so native data type is nothing but when you are importing from flat file or when you are importing the definition from the oracle database or any other database there will be like whatever the uh, metadata that gets imported it will have some data type so that is nothing but a native data type so for the flat file it will, might be like begin date time double okay. integer like this so the corresponding power center uh, data type in the transformations or in the source qualifier it will be begin and date time it will be date slash type for the double it is double and only for the number it changes to decimal so this is the precision of value so it uh, if you see begin it is 19 comma zero so that means 19 is a precision and scale is zero so if you see in the next previous slide begin you cannot change so that means you cannot change the precision next date time date time you cannot change date time it is a fixed one double also precision of 15 digits and comma zero so double also you cannot change it's a fixed one next integer for integer also if you see you cannot change 
so next number so number is 1 to 28 but number you can change the precision you can see here number you can see number you can change the precision okay now number means that is decimal so here the decimal you can change yes yes so next string so string all you can change the precision and decimal okay next comparison of native and power percent data types so in the in this we will have a real so in the previous slide we don't have a real and small integer for the real the precision is 7 comma 0 and for small integer it is 5 comma uh, scale is 0 next it is 8 bytes value it is a 4 bytes value so because of precision price so that's why it can store up to 3 to minus 3 to 7 there should be minus here minus 3 to 7 6 8 to 3 to 7 6 7 next overview of workflow manager components so coming to workflow manager so workflow manager we will have three components task developers and uh, workload designer and workflow designer so task developer in this we can create task so in the task developer we can only create reusable task so the reusable tasks are session task command task email task so session task is used to set up uh, tell the instructions to mapping and command task is used to execute any shell commands email you need to if you want to send any emails next workload designer so in the workload designer it is used to reuse set of tasks across workflows so that means it is same like a maplet so if you want to reuse any set of tasks across the workflows you can use this now when you create a worklet so start task will be the default task that gets created you cannot remove the start task next in the worklet is workflow designer so this is uh, to create a workflow so under the workflow there can be n number of sessions that means n number of tasks can be configured now here also start task will be created by default and you cannot remove but you can rename it Coming to workflow monitor, so the monitor is used to monitor the workflow. The name itself tells monitor the jobs. So it can view details about workflows or tasks. In there will be views, Gantt chart or task view. You can run and stop or robot and resume the workflows. And it continuously fetches information from the integrated service and the repository service. It also fetches information from the repository to display historic information. Now, if you see, there will be windows. So this is a navigator window will be there. So where we can see the repository servers and repository objects, output window will be there. Where we'll get the messages from the integrated service and repository service. Time window will be there. So what is the time? And Gantt chart will be there. So in the Gantt chart, we can see only the jobs in a chronological order. Chronological order means the sequence of events. Task view, you can see the uh, uh, jobs in a report format. Now you can see this example. So this is, first one is navigator window. So this is a navigator window and the second one is output window the third one is time window fourth one is gantt chart and fifth one is task view so now let's go with a quick demo now here this is a designer which we are talking about in the in the ppt so these are the five components source analyzer target designer and transformation developer and maplet designer here we will create a mapping maplets and these maplets can be used in the mapping so in the source analyzer as i told we can create or import the source definition so if you want go to sources you can create so you can create like this and as we are using flat file you can use a flat file and you can give it any, any name but if you want to import so you can simply import from file so this in file should be like the metadata should be on your local system so wherever you have designer so if you see so i am using like this so customer so i already have a data so this is my data now you can see so this is uh you don't need to have entire data just a metadata is enough so whatever the metadata column names is enough now if you see it is asking the flat file import wizard will guide you through the importing for flat file sources so what is the type you need to choose so uh, delimited delimited is nothing but so between the columns between the fields are there any delimiter that is separating if you see from the data i have i have comma here and this is a second comma this is a third comma so that means between the four fields i have three commas so characters such as commas or tabs so i have uh, chosen this if you have a space here between the uh, fields then you need to choose fixed width so i am choosing delimited next enter a name for this source by default you will get the flat file name if you want to change you can change okay so i am i am changing to one next start import at row so if you see uh, you wanted to import the data from the row one no because first row it contains the header names that means the uh, names of the column names so that's why i am making it as a two so you can see the header names gone now instead of this also you can simply click this one so you will get two directly here and you can see here next i'm clicking next now here you can see the 
delimiters that are used is comma and treat consecutive delimiters as one so if you want to treat consecutive delimiters as one uh, you can use but it is not required for now treat multiple delimiters as and it is also not required next escape character so if you see what is an escape character here now if you see the first row that i have it's got splitted into uh, remaining everything as four fields but it has five so why it got splitted because in the data field 2 i have ram slash ram so this entire should be one this should be uh, one field but it got splitted so that's why escape caret because why it got splitted because if you see comma is there so this is treating as a delimiter and it is splitting the data so that's why i am telling uh, i am keeping an escape character slash so when you keep an escape character slash that means we are telling to uh, integration service that when you encounter this escape character and the delimiter uh, when you encounter this escape character before the delimiter then just skip that then don't take it as a delimiter so that we are escaping the name itself says escaping so that's why if you see now ram ram so both are in the same field when i remove this then it will go into the next field but by mistake if you keep it as comma then everything so the delimiter will be taken as escape character and everything will come in as a one field so you need to take slash so whatever the character that is present before the delimiter you need to take now click text so and also you can see here text qualifier so text qualifier what is the meaning of this no code single code double code so when where, when you click on double quotes that means if you see in the second row i have double quotes so the, in the double quotes i have one comma that is a delimiter so when you click on double quotes so everything will be treated as one string when i click single quotes so it got splitted based on the delimiter when you click no quotes also it got splitted so that's why double quotes the meaning is like whatever the present this is the end of the string that means the double quotes is the end of the string take everything as a string now click next so here uh, select the name and data type for each column if you want to change the name you can change so i am keeping a cid one and the data type so by default we will get numeric so if you want to change you can also change so customer first name and keep by typing text so one and phone number one just i am changing next to finish now you can see it got imported the metadata now in the same way i am going to create you can just simply drag and drop and just to change the and just keep it as tgt which is a target one and you can see the column the same columns will get like cust cid one first name last name one phone number and the data type will get the native data type same okay i am using as a flat file only so that's why here i am using as a flat file for the same delimited also you can see the same values are present apply okay now click on the map go to the mapping designer here you need to create your mapping so first i am going to create mapping underscore custom one so i am simply so you need to drag and drop the source and drag and drop the target now here the source qualifier is a informatica power center transformation now if you see here the ports uh, cad1 is come came as decimal but here if you see the native data type number so number will come as decimal as we shown in the ppt string will come as string string as string and number will come as a decimal so you can see here now number so decimal so by default it will be 1 comma 0 so whatever the that is present from the source it is coming like this so if you select begin so you can see 19 comma 0 so the whatever i told in the ppt the precision 19 0 so you cannot change begin now when you click on binary you can change now when you click on date time you cannot change 29.9 is the default one. Decimal, decimal you can change. Okay. Next double, double you cannot change. Next integer you cannot. Next n string. So n string you can change. Yeah. All the strings you can change. Small integer five comma zero as we have seen in PPT and uh, text. So if you want text, you can see the text also. Okay. And real seven comma zero. So this is how I am just keeping it as a decimal only because the equivalent number is decimal and apply okay uh, if you want to like uh, combine just right click auto link and from source qualifier to target by name that means we are going to map by cid1 name to cid1 so if you keep by position that means first position to first position i'm keeping name only and apply now you can see it got applied and click okay now save the mapping control s now you can see the mapping is valid
Now this is a workflow manager. Now here in that this is a component, first component, task developer. Now here you need to click on task create. Now you can see as I told session command email. So these are the reusable tasks that you can create here. I'm going to create one session task so which I can use it for this mapping. So the mapping should be valid in order to select. So if it is invalid, then there is some mistake in the logic. You need to rectify it and again make it valid. Then only you can create a session task. Now click done. So it got completed. Now if you want to like in the workflow designer, you can see like uh, if you want to just create one workflow. And I'm creating one workflow. And now if you see. And if you want to create a task here, just to create a task. Now you can see a lot of tasks. session command you can see the decision task. So these are the ones which I told these are the non reusable ones. So the D1. So if you see on the left side, so this is the one. So if you see on the left side, so these are the sessions. So under the workflow, it will be there. So you cannot reuse this task. Okay. So these are the non reusable ones. But, but the session task you can reuse. So I just, I'm just, you don't need to copy. So no, I'm just deleting this. It's not required right now. So yeah. So now I'm just, so as we need to provide so we need to provide the directory source file directory so the source file directory it should be on the informatica power, uh, power center server machine my server is on linux machine so i will provide that path here now you can see so this is my directory and this is my file name so this is a file name and this is the data cid first name last name phone number everything so the same data that i am using here okay i will give the location slash root so I'm providing the same here and cust data file.txt. So this is a file name and uh, go to target. So target directory also I'm just creating in the same directory. So this is the one and I'm going to give dot txt. So it will create one target file. So you need to click on the mapping tab and you need to provide. So click OK. Now you, you need to just link the tasks so as i told so it will tell the workflow will tell the sequence of events that we need to perform now i'm just saving now just to re-verify once whether the connections are applied properly or not source directory and all so it is applied properly now you can start the workflow so you just need to click on the workflows and click on the start workflow now we can see uh, the session got failed uh, but let's see the get session log so this is session log now you can see what is the error so the error it is saying error opening file custard data file.txt is not present so maybe i think a custard file data is a file name so we have given wrong no problem so this is the navigator window and this is the output window and uh, this is like uh, the gan chat so if you see click on the gan chat now you can see only the series of events okay when you click on the task view so you can see in in the form of a report now let me give the correct uh, file name I'll click again on the session. So click on the mappings. And here provide cust file data.txt. Again, save the mapping. Now again, start workflow. Now you can see the session got uh, is running and it is completed. So if you see the session log, so it affected three rows and the four it affected four rows and four rows got completed successfully now if you want to see like any properties so you need just to right click and get run properties on the empty window it will open it won't open on the uh, timer window so it will open here so you can see the source and target statistics affected rows how many rows got affected and all uh, the target file got generated so this is a target file now if you see the content so we can see the whole content got loaded so the references that I used, you can follow this 103861 uh, KP article, how to uh, know the uh, giving the delimiter. And you can see these guides 1040 and 1041 guides. And also you can see the info support channel. So if you like, uh, if you love uh, this video, then I request you to provide your feedback uh, at support videos at or we have a Twitter channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.